Hey guys, Simon here from Top Tennis Training and in this video I want to discuss the racket lag on the serve. Does this happen and if so, how do we get it? Now the first thing is it definitely does happen. When most people talk about racket lag, they talk about the forehand. So from that position here, the racket is lagging now behind the wrist and the grip of the racket. The bottom of the racket, the butt cap of the racket is leading the way to the oncoming ball. Now on the serve, this also happens. What happens is we reach that trophy position and then the racket drops down, the racket drop position, and then from here, now my racket is lagging behind the grip and my wrist, my forearm. So that is the racket lag position on the serve. Now this is Andy Murray's serve from above in super slow motion. Now a big shout out to the guys over at Free Sport TV, the channel. I will leave a link under this video to their channel. They provided this footage for us. This is the trophy position on the Andy Murray serve. And as you can see, the racket starts to drop down behind. So the racket drop position. And this is what you would call the racket lag on the serve. So the bottom of the racket, the butt cap, is leading the way onto the ball. And the racket is on edge in that position. He extends up and his forearm opens up to the contact point. And this is where you would call the racket lag position once again. So the bottom of the racket is leading the way. And this is giving him leverage over the ball. This is giving him force over the ball in that racket lag position. Now let's take a look at Roger Federer's serve. He does the exact same thing. Here you can see the racket lag position on the serve. The bottom of the racket again leading the way to the oncoming ball. And once again this is giving him force over the ball. So that was the racket lag on the serve. Now, more importantly, how do we reach a good racket lag position and how do we increase that power on the serve by using the racket lag? So we've made a video all about this and you can find that video over at our website toptennistraining.com. I'll leave the link under this video and if you want, you can also click on K's racket right now as it's going up in that racket lag position. That will take you straight to the video where you can watch part two to this video, how to actually get the lag on your serve. Thanks for watching guys, make, make sure that you leave a comment down below, click a like button as well, and all the best.